we are on a wild and wet day in the wild and wet environs of uh, Springwater Park which is um, more or less looked after by volunteers rather than the council at the time of filming they've only just put in a history trail you can see a marker for it there and this is the significant spot because here is where the river Irwell coming down from the close park swallows up this river coming in from the right which is the river Roach so end of Roach and the Irwell continues over this direction just beyond the confluence of the Roach with the Roach you can see that a wide floodplain opens out and they have done some work showing up the banks here recently the riverside footpath is quite muddy you can see behind me there's an island in the Irwell with some uh, quite mature trees now and uh, looking up there there's a the car park for some water park Hello, we're not sure but it's thought that it was around this point where the river's quite shallow that the Romans had a fort. There's a Roman road between uh, Manchester and Bury crosses round about here and it's thought the ford is somewhere in this vicinity. Point, the path uh, heads up the bank away from the river towards the A. 65 the river's heading that way into Radcliffe Town Centre and that's where we'll catch up with it again. Hello, I won't linger too long here. This is uh, near to the centre of Radcliffe at the bottom of Rectory Lane and there used to be a bridge here connecting two mills but the mill on this bank has now been demolished and uh, that one looks like it's in better days and so half the bridge has gone so you've now got a rickety bridge to nowhere in the uh, middle of the uh, oh well so uh, you can see that it's now swollen by absorbing the river roach and there's a considerably uh, large river indeed but uh, like I say, I, I think we're actually trespassing on the mill site here, so we won't linger long. And we'll see you in a few minutes in Radcliffe. Okay, we're uh, standing rather precariously, so we're not filming through railings, uh, to give a reasonable shot of the big oh. viaduct going over the uh, well, uh, that takes the Metro Link over between uh, Radcliffe and Whitefield uh, because it used to be the railway and uh, see the railway now flowing nice and fast down towards Radcliffe Bridge. I think we're going to get down from the Central Asylum. Hello, here we are on Radcliffe Bridge, which as the name might suggest is dead in the centre of uh, Radcliffe. Uh, you can see there are some riverside buildings here, but they've not yet started making riverside apartments. Maybe that will come in a few years time. Uh, Radcliffe, has to be said, doesn't enjoy the greatest reputation around here, but it certainly has some nice corners and certainly here this is the most ornate bridge over the Irwell we've seen so far and uh, there is a more modern one just a bit further on and that's where we'll uh, go as the river starts heading west towards Bolton and Salford. Hello, we're underneath the more modern bridge over the Irwell in the centre of Radcliffe over there is the one we were on be just before. Uh, this little platform you can reach from just behind our stairs. You can see there's uh, a few trolleys down here. 
and the Irwell flows that way for short distance and then it makes a right angle turn to flow towards Bolton. Hello, this is the next bridge over the Irwell, which is the bridge that took the old Radcliffe Bridge to Clifton Junction railway line. It closed in 1966 and the new road over there has completely obliterated all trace of the line beyond this bridge. But going that way, it's uh, now a cycle trail called the Outward Trail and you can follow it pretty much all the way to Salford. And uh, it's Cyclists here, but there are some passageways along the middle, so you can look over to the upper side, and that's uh, looking onwards towards uh, Little Lever. Hello, we're standing just off uh, Sion Road and just above a uh, noisy outflow into the air uh, well from the uh, Hillside behind us, uh, Cyan Road still full of small industrial premises. Hopefully they're not uh, being uh, too polluting of the river. On the other side you've got uh, that woodland is all outward country park. So uh, we're going to stay on this side of the river and we'll cover that side when in our sister series All the Country Parks sometime in the near future. Okay. Okay, Simon. Hello. So here we are at a bridge over the magnificent river Up on that side is our country park. And behind us, that way, is actually Mount Sion Road. Yeah. I must admit, this doesn't feel the sturdiest bridge in the world, so I don't think we're going to linger on here. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, well, Simon's proved that there is a bit of life in it yet. Okay, let's go. Hello. Uh, as you go further along Mount Sion Road, you start to approach a still working paper mill, and the best idea there is to take a footpath up to the towpath of the Manchester Bolton and Berry Canal and then you get some nice views of the Irwell from a bank looking over the top. You might be able to hear the noise of a weir a bit further on there where part of the river was diverted to feed a bleach mill and that isn't there anymore it's now been landscaped into uh, Lady Shore wood. Hello this is the Mount Sion steam crane on the Manchester Bolton and Berry Canal and it's a listed structure even though it's a bit corroded in places. What makes it special is that it's the only one of its type that's actually still in the position when it was used. So it was used to offload uh, goods from the canal down to the industrial works below, uh, most of which is fairly new, it's there now. Most of the buildings post date the crane in operation, but we think that brick building at the back there is an old boiler house, so that probably was here, but the rest of it is fairly new. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello. Uh, it's hard to imagine it, but this was a hive of industry at one point. Uh, on this side of the canal you had Lady Shore Colliery. Uh, down there on a bit of a peninsula you had a bleach works and there used to be a footbridge from the other side across the river uh, to the works, but you can still see the stumps of the bridge in the river but the actual bridge has gone and over on the out on the other side of the bank you had outward colliery so uh, all now being landscaped by the local authorities and giving a very interesting perspective to the walk. I should uh, mention as well uh, one of our fellow vloggers Martin Zero has covered this area very recently so I would end 
encourage you to look up his videos to find out a bit more about uh, the industrial heritage of this area. Thank you. Subscribe to Martin Zero. Just across the border into Bolton, the canal is crossed by Lady Shore Lane. And if you just take that a few yards down, you'll see this information board telling you about Lady Shore Woods, the history and what you can see in terms of what, what you might see in terms of wildlife. This was an initiative by Bolton's Countryside Service in the early 2000s when it took control of the area but the countryside service has now been abandoned due to local authority courts the same old story so the parts of uh, what they did have now added to the dereliction if you like but uh, this sign post is still in pretty good nick which is a good thing and we'll now go over to the wildlife view Hello, so you can see here there is a wooden viewing platform but it is falling to bits. I'm not sure it's a actually safe to stand on. Do you want me to test? Oh, how brave. Go on, Simon, we'll risk life and limb for you now. Go, go, if go this, for it. If this breaks, you better subscribe. Yeah, absolutely. See, it, it, it's all right, just be careful. Okay.